Hi there again. This is uh, another update of my rolling stock that I got from the hobby shop here in town. Well, next town over. Town I work in. Um, so let's get to it. This right here is a cheap high-speed car I picked up at a flea market a couple weeks ago. I forgot to include it. But I guess that'll go permanently on the layout since the wheels don't turn much. It was a buck, so I couldn't resist. So, moving on. We got a Nevada Northern Railway boxcar by Microcars. Sorry, Micro Trains. These are really nice. Got operating doors. Really nice detail on them. Not too bad. Got that for about six bucks. It's a half off too. Um, and this, what is it? It's a Missouri Pacific box car. Same thing. Micro trains. Sliding doors. Very nice. Can never have too many box cars, I guess. Uh, this. What is that? Minneapolis Northfield and Southern Boxcar High Cube, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Ten bucks. Figured blue is a nice color to put on the train consist. Break uh, the color up. Yeah, you know. Then we go over to this well car, flat car. Or depressed center car. I'm sorry from ATSF. It's also six bucks. The entire uh, car is all metal, so that's cool. Add some weight. It's cool because I put a flash drive in it. And ta da! Sorry for this shakiness. I'm on my phone. And we will go to this one. You guys have already seen this. It's a, just a double of a hopper, GE. Hopper. Gonna be my green car train. Six bucks as well. Six dollars for that too, if I didn't mention the price. And this Bachman over here is a Norfolk and Western, older type, coal, uh, four bay hopper. Yeah, it goes along with my other styles of, uh, hopper cars, which is cool. With Bachman, they come with two, uh, coupler styles. This one fits okay. And, da, da, da. These, the cheapo ones, and that's the rest of my box or uh, not box cars, hopper cars are the cheap ones. So this one will be placed at the front of the train as a transition car, so it works out. And to let's see, moving on. Got uh, another short car, an NW, Norfolk and Western, I guess. A uh, 40 foot hopper. Also going with the green train. Got that for, I think, five bucks from a friend I met on Yahoo. Who also sold me this beauty. This is an SD60 Atlas. Um, Unfortunately, the motor was gutted from it, and also the worm drives, so right now it's just free rolling. It also took the PC board out of it, but I got that for 20 bucks. Can't beat it. Thing looks brand new. But it, also, it has the cheapo couplers. And... I don't know how to change those. A good friend 
of mine, Derek Key, I bought this chessy from him. It's basically the same thing, except it's got the good couplers on it. The thing is, I don't know how to change these to these. And if somebody knows or can give me feedback, that'd be great. If not, then I'm stuck with that. <laughs> also, I have that mystery piece right there that came with it. Don't know what it's to. It's got some sort of mesh wiring on it. Can't zoom in too close, but... Oh, well. Maybe someone could help me find out who that is. Or what it is, I'm sorry. And, to finish it off, a new addition to my HO scale collection is a GE AMD 103. It's supposed to be Amtrak on the box, but it's North Metro, Metro North Railroad. It's a kit that I haven't had fully assembled. So... That's going to be part of my display trains, parts. Overall, I got that for 15 bucks. Wasn't too bad. A lot of assembling on that, but... This is my collection, again. Sorry for the shakiness. It's done on my iPhone. But I do love my iPhone. Let's see. And that. Well, thank you for watching. You guys have a good day.